AI tools are designed to make data flow manageable, allowing organizations to turn their structured or unstructured data into something actionable and insightful for their businesses. Over here, we show you most popular BI tools as per a research done in 2017 by an organization known as Trust Radius. Now over here, you can clearly see that the market leader in BI tools is Tableau. At that time, its market share was around 23%, but today it's around 35%. So if you see around 35% of the world using uh, BI tools for data visualization are using Tableau. So Tableau captures 35% of the market share in BI tools. The reason is Tableau is not just a BI tool. It is not just a BI tool. It is a way to tell a story to your company stakeholders based on your company's data. Hi all, I welcome you all to this session on Tableau. We are Henry Harvin and we'll walk you through various data visualization techniques which we can perform in our BI tool named as Tableau. And the reason we chose Tableau was covered in the previous slide because Tableau covers 35% of the market share in the BI tools around the globe. So without much ado, let's start with our Tableau course. But before that, let me walk you through the entire course curriculum. So the entire course curriculum is divided into three parts. First is the basics where we'll be covering the need of data visualization as to why is data visualization required by the organizations today. Then we'll see what is Tableau means uh, who developed it and what is it actually is and what are its standout features. Then who is a Tableau developer means once you will understand how to perform a data visualization using Tableau, uh, what is the kind of job role you will get? What is the kind of compensation you will uh, have means uh, the salary you will be offered and what are the skill sets expected out of you uh, if you are a Tableau developer. Then we will discuss various product suits offered by the Tableau means apart from the Tableau desktop which we will be covering in this course. You have other features, uh, other tools offered by Tableau as well. There is Tableau public, then there are Tableau online and Tableau server where you can publish your dashboards and then you have Tableau reader. So there are multiple products offered by Tableau to the business world. Uh, we'll give you an overview of each of them, but predominantly we'll be covering Tableau desktop and Tableau online in this course. Then I'll tell you how to download and install Tableau desktop 10. Uh, then we'll start with our course uh, where we'll first cover that how to connect any data source to Tableau. Uh, we'll be covering how to connect the Excel and CSV files with Tableau. Then we'll see the various kind of data relationships we can build in Tableau means if uh, with the data source which you have in that data source if you have got multiple sheets or multiple tables then how can you connect those tables so that we'll see in understanding of the data relationships where I'll walk you through the various joints available in Tableau like left join, right join, uh, outer join, inner join all of them will be covered under this section. Then we'll see how to perform sorting of data in Tableau both the sorting at the data source level and the sorting at the worksheets level. We also perform sorting uh, in the graphs itself in Tableau worksheet. Then we'll see the data sources where I'll walk you through uh, how to perform adding, modifying and replacing of the data source within Tableau. So that will be the first part of uh, Tableau that is the basics. Then we'll go to the intermediary level of Tableau where we'll be covering the practical basics. In practical basics, we cover things like the type of data connections available in Tableau that is live and connection and how to uh, live and extract and how to create an extract connection and why do you need an extract connection. All of this will be covered in practical basics. Apart from this, we'll be also covering set and uh, measures, dimensions, continuous and discrete variables in uh, practical basics. And we'll also be covering the various type of data types available in Tableau workbook to the user. Post that we'll see the various kinds of filters available in Tableau. That is context filter, extract filters, quick filters, dimension filters, measure filters, all the filters available in Tableau will be covered. Post that we'll see the various uh, Tableau charts and graphs available. So basically uh, more than 40 types of graphs can be built up in Tableau. 24 are inbuilt and for other 16, you have various kinds of techniques uh, so you can uh, basically mix two or more graphs and create new hybrid graphs so in total around 40 types of graphs can be created in Tableau we'll be covering most of them then we'll see how to create a calculated field in Tableau and then we'll see how to create a parameters these calculated fields and parameters these are two uh, two of the building blocks and most important parts uh, in data visualization using Tableau 
we'll be covering them. Then we'll see how to create table calculations in Tableau, followed by the data blending in Tableau. Now, if you have got data source, if you have got multiple data sources and they are not connected to each other, means your one data source is supposedly a data table or a database and another data source is placed in or Oracle query and the third data source is placed in an Excel. So if you have to combine all these data sources from different uh, locations, you can combine them together and work in a single workbook uh, by performing data blending. So using data blending in Tableau, you can connect the data from all these different kinds of sources into the Tableau workbook. Then we'll see how to create interactive dashboards in Tableau. Once we have created the interactive dashboards in Tableau, then we'll see how to publish and share these dashboards using Tableau online. So in this, we'll also be covering that. How can you create uh, your Tableau online account? We'll be covering that part as well. Uh, as mentioned over here that I'll be telling you how to create Tableau online's account of uh, trial account and uh, how to use it for publishing uh, our dashboards and sharing it to the end users like the CEOs and CXO levels or your end user clients. Post that we'll see how to create storylines. So Tableau, Tableau is this feature is very enhanced, uh, very great actually uh, because this feature allows the user to uh, create the entire uh, graphs in the form of story so your graphs will be uh, so much visually appealing that you can embed a story in different worksheets and combine them together in a dashboard so your graph will be so much interactive that it would be telling a story out of the graphs. So you'll understand it better when we'll be doing it practically, but this is one of the very good features of Tableau. So once we are done with the intermediary module of Tableau, then we'll go to the third module, which is, which is advanced module. So the basic things uh, being covered in advanced module of Tableau will be how to create calculated fields in a data blend. Then we'll see how to assign geographical roles to the various data elements available in a uh, data source. So sometimes what happens is within your data source, if there are location fields, they by default come in the form of strings and numbers. So you have to explicitly convert them into geographical uh, data type. And uh, in case you are uh, showing your locations on a map, so maybe the country's map doesn't identifies those locations so you'll have to manually input the longitude and latitude values of those locations to add them into a country's map say india us or whichever country's location you want to add then we'll see how to export the results from our tableau workbook to various uh, other softwares like powerpoint pdf excel images so our uh, tableau allows you to export its uh, worksheets and dashboards uh, outside uh, to other softwares so you can share it easily to uh, others like uh, end users and then we'll see how to create data hierarchies and uh, the drill downs which we will perform then we'll see how to perform data grouping and create custom territories of uh, location fields on maps using tableau then we'll see how to add actions on our dashboards and we'll be covering various types of actions available in tableau uh, in this particular part where we'll see uh, the various types of actions like action filters action parameters etc and then we'll be covering how to create dual axis charts. So basically, uh, if you have got uh, two measures and you have to uh, show them on the same graph, you can do that using the dual axis charts. Then we'll see the aggregation granularity and level of detail uh, concept of Tableau. Uh, we'll be discussing each one of them in detail. Then we'll see the work with time series data, like how can you work with various time series data available in Tableau. So if you have got a data which has a date field and you have got uh, the major or continuous variables which are changing over time so you can plot them using the time series data. Then we will see the analytics tab available in Tableau which offers you features like forecasting, clustering and trend lines. All of it available in Tableau. So by now I think I have understood that Tableau is a very powerful tool. So without much ado, let me, let me walk you through the basics of Tableau. We will start with the basic module of Tableau. 